unpacking some of New Zealand cricket's most prized possessions. Staff at Invercargill's Bill Richardson Transport World busy setting up the New Zealand Cricket Museum after it was shipped down south from its home in Wellington. It all came about when they helped New Zealand Cricket obtain the bat Martin Crow used to score his last century with, which was being auctioned off by his famous cousin Russell to help pay for his divorce. When we did that, they talked about how they were going to be making some changes to their museum at the Basin Reserve, and so we just sort of did a deal to um, bring the cricket collection down here for a little while while they were doing their re renovations. The museum is set to be housed in Invercargill for the next eight months. Some of the marquee items include a bat signed by both Sir Donald Bradman and Martin Crow from Crow's 1997 testimonial, and the only major trophy the New Zealand men's side has ever won, the ICC Knockout Trophy from 2000. Well it's just really nice to be able to offer our visitors a different type of experience here at Transport World. We um, are conscious that if we want locals to come back then we have to be offering different variety of um, collections for them to view. So yeah, we're really happy that it's come down here. The museum will officially be opened at an event later this month by legendary Southland sportsman Brian McKetney, the man who faced the infamous underarm delivery in 1981. We're going to box an underarm. We haven't believed it. And that's a disappointing finish. Disappointed Brian McKetney, the crowd boo. There'll be that, there'll be a lot more, there'll be the infamous uh, penalty uh, in the All Blacks as well. Uh, I mean, Brian McKechnie, he is a double, a double All Black, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of stories that night. Tickets for the opening are currently on sale, with the museum expected to be housed in Invercargill until October. Ben Waterworth, The South Today.